So nuclear symbol notation, the nuclear meaning essentially the nucleus. So we have A at the top, and that is the mass number, which is a little bit upsetting because you think A would be atomic number, but Z is the atomic number. So how can you remember that? Every teacher I know remembers it by thinking it's the opposite to what you think it should be. And the symbol is a capital letter, either on its own or followed by one or two lowercase letters. So for example, fluorine has a mass number of 19 and an atomic number of 9. So what's the definition for the mass number? Well, a mass number is the number of protons and neutrons in an atom. So in the case of fluorine, there are 19 protons and neutrons. Atomic number, well, that's the number of protons in an atom. And in the case of fluorine, that would be 9. So P is 9. Neutrons, well, that's going to be the difference between the numbers, which is 10. And the electrons is 9. Wait, who said anything about electrons? This is nuclear stuff, isn't it? OK, let me try to explain how you get the 9 for the electrons. All atoms, by definition, are neutral. Protons are plus 1, neutrons 0, and electrons are minus 1. So the amount of protons must equal the amount of electrons to get a neutral atom. So the number of protons must equal the number of electrons. Taking a look at aluminium, 27, 13. And argon, 40, 18. So the bigger number is always going to be the bigger number. That's the mass number. It's not always on top. And the smaller number, the atomic number. So 13 protons for aluminium, 13 electrons, and 14 neutrons. Let's just check those charges. 13 plus 1s for the 13 protons, 13 minus 1s for the electrons, and 14 zeros. That all cancels out, yet yeah, it's a neutral atom. Argon, 18 protons, 18 electrons, and 22 neutrons. The difference between the number 18 and 40 is 22. And the small numbers there, again, the small number, the atomic number, that's the electrons, also the protons. Let's mix it up a bit. Show the atoms with, well, it's chlorine with a mass number of 35. So looking up on the periodic table. So following the pattern of AXZ, Chlorine, well, the symbol is Cl. You should probably learn that. The mass number, confusingly, that is A. We like to put that at the top. So that's 35. Well, how many protons are there? I don't know how many protons or neutrons there are. Well, you just have to look at the periodic table to get the protons for chlorine. Chlorine has 17 protons. If you find something that doesn't have 17 protons, then it isn't chlorine. The number of protons uniquely identifies that parent atom, also the element. So five protons, I'm going to have to look that up. It's the fifth element, that is boron. So I put the symbol B. And six, no, no, that's wrong. The mass number is the number of neutrons and protons, so that's going to be six and five, which gives me 11. 